Okay, so now that we've finished tasks, um, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more on the interaction log entries. Again, we have a salesperson, uh, and here we have the interaction log entries, um, and they are basically like ledger entries for the salesperson. Now they are also connected to the contact. So if you go onto the contact, you can take a look at the interaction log entries for that. So either by salesperson or by contact. And this is basically logging everything that the salesperson does. And they have um, costs associated with them. So like a phone call could be a dollar, uh, an on-site meeting, so this would be phone call. On-site meeting could be $45. Uh, and this is good because then you can actually evaluate the cost of working with a particular prospect or on a campaign or an opportunity or something like that. So there you have some kind of uh, statistics on that. Now, what we're gonna take a look at now quickly is go into the salesperson card, just create an interaction straight from the salesperson and pick a type of interaction. Interactions actually get pretty complicated because you can have many different templates that are associated with the interaction and that template can uh, create like a mail merge or an email or something like that. So for right now, let's just create one interaction on the uh, salesperson and see how that logs through. Okay, so let's take a look at interactions. I'm gonna go into salespeople again, like usual, and take a look at Peter Sato again. If I go into navigate salespeople uh, interaction log entries, I see here that I have a number of uh, interactions that have been done. I can go and there was a um, task that I closed that generated an interaction entry and that was the outgoing phone call. I can go ahead and, and create an interaction right from here manually. So if I could just go in here and create interaction and this would be like in case if the uh, salesperson did something and they needed to log it. And so I'm going to go ahead and select the contact. Uh, let's say that's Megan. And the interaction template right here uh, brings up a lot of different templates. And I'm going to go into how to set up these templates and what they actually do uh, in, a, in next video. But for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and pick um, on-site meeting right here. Just hit OK. And then the interaction details over here. I actually have to say that it's it's not an email, obviously, I was on site. So I'm just going to keep that black. Uh, keep the uh, date of interaction here. Give the evaluation as positive. Um, and, and was successful. And then just go ahead and hit OK. So what does happen is it just locks this on-site meeting our meeting at a customer site with Megan, and that it was positive. Again, it puts in the cost, and here it's obviously much more than um, giving a phone call. So it's about a dollar to give a phone call, but $45 to go on site, and this took three hours. Um, and, and this interaction, again, is basically like the ledger entries of the contact, but they can have um, more things attached to them. Like for example, if you're initiating an email, it could be a mail merge that happens automatically. So we'll take a look at that as we move further into the whole contact management system.